Good morning everybody and welcome back to Built Not Bought Campers and yes we're sat in my van today. Oh I feel so good. I cannot wait to go away. Again. Oh, do you know. Anyway we've done some work on the camper. Um, so obviously redoing some bits and pieces that I've done before that I wasn't happy with. Um, I know there's a few people out there who want me to do give a full tour of this van. I promise you all faithfully once I've done the couple of bits that I need to do I will be giving you a full tour of the van. It still won't be finished, but you will get a tour. So please, please, please bear with me. And please, 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 Luke, no more please, please, please videos. No, I'm only joking. I have a feeling there might be another one coming up soon. I don't know. Anyway, back to today's video. Um, today's video is gonna be quite a short one, but a very informative. It is a tutorial. And I'm gonna show you how to make these cupboard doors. And I'm going to show you how to make them easily. And they're shaker style cupboard doors, and they're easy to make and simple to do. And I'm going to show you how. Let's show you this one first. So there you go. Finger hole, lift up. It's got a magnet in there to keep it shut. There is a light in there usually. Let me show you this one. I'm going to put the holes in this door, yeah? So as you open the door, it's got a micro switch to turn the lights on and off. So, there you go. Right, back on today's tutorial. Let's get back in the workshop, on the table, and build the door. Right, so we are back in the workshop. Now, to make the doors, I've cut the wood already, so um, I'm pretty sure that everybody can measure and cut. Now, I'm gonna build these doors today using a tool called a Craig jig. Now, I'm gonna show you two different types. One's more expensive, but they just do exactly the same thing. Right, so the first one, which I use, is this one. Now, you can clamp your wood in this one and drill down to create your pocket holes. This one, which is more sort of versatile and more mobile, comes in a nice little neat little box and you can clamp this to the piece of wood. They both do exactly the same thing. So, I'm gonna leave links to these in the description below. Today, we're gonna use this one because um, it's quicker and it's easier for me anyway um, especially as I'm doing a tutorial you don't want to be listening and watching me for ages I'm gonna put this one aside and there's the four pieces that I've cut okay then so these are the four pieces of wood and they're the uprights so it's only a small door and this door is going to be placed under the kitchen hob and I'll show you that when I fit it. So what we're going to be doing is going to put two pocket holes in the long bit to screw into the upper and lower part. So after you set it up it's quite easy because you've got marks on here for the lengths and widths and the same with adjusting this up and down on this Craig jig. It's got an adjustable clamp. So I'm gonna use these two big holes. I'm gonna use A and B. So we clamp the wood in. Like so. Use the supply drill that comes with the Craig jig. Hold the wood down, I always lean on it, to be so it's safe. <laughs> Unclamp it. And there's your two pocket holes. Right, I'm gonna do the rest. I made a boo-boo on that one. Done it on the wrong side. So I need to cut another piece of wood.
I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a bit of glue on the ends of these as well. I use Gorilla Glue because it just works for me, I love it. It's the best stuff going, I think. I need a little bit. That's glued and screwed that joint. Let's do the other three joints. There you go, simple as that. Now, so you don't have to router it into the back, I'm literally gonna panel pin that onto here. So first things first, is I need to get this painted and this stained. So once that's done, I'll come back to you, we put it all together, we put the hinges on, we get the magnet on, and we fit it in the van. So I'll be back shortly. Right, so we're back on the bench. As you can see, we've stained the frame and we painted the board. Right, so literally, it's as simple as this. Put that on there, like so. Now, to panel pin this in using a hammer and nail, the easiest way, because look how small that pin is. It is tiny. Now, I know with my big chunky sausage fingers, I'm gonna smash my fingers to bits. Easiest way, good little hack for you, get a piece of paper or a piece of card, poke the little pin through the hut, make a hole, poke it through like so. There you go. Put the pin wherever you want it to be situated, hammer it in. Pull the piece of card off without pulling the nail out. So let's put it in a bit further. And finish tapping it in. Now you can, let me show you. Use the same holding a bit of card. Go up a bit further with it. And that stops you from smashing your fingers to pieces with very, very small nails or tacks or panel pins. But for quickness and ease today, we're gonna to be using an air nailer. The last thing you wanna do is stand there and watch me hammer nails into a piece of wood. So it's quicker with this. There you have it, door is made. Right, so now we need to put the hinges on. Now I'm using these hinges. They're very heavy duty and chunky, but they're different to the normal sort of gate hinges. I wanted something different. And these are the ones that I could find that were small enough. Um, I like them, but it took me ages to find them and I bought them a long time ago. So I can't even leave you a link for these because I wouldn't even know where they are now. I think it was eBay. Have a look, see what you think. Right. <sighs> So to install the hinges, I know 
that I need to measure down 130 meter 130 meters wow no sorry 130 mil from the top so it'll be there so I fold that over the side make sure it's square against the side and drill two pilot holes So I've measured 130 mil down. Drill a couple of little pilot holes. First one. Those black screws finish that off really nicely. So now I need to cut the hole where the handle's gonna be. 510, 255. It's there, I'll do half of that, which is just there. So I'm using Bosch hole saws, it's a good set. And I've even convinced one of my friends to buy a set this weekend because he liked them so much. So start it one side. Still needs to come through a little bit more. Now the drills pop through the other side. Just there. We pop that in there and start from this side. So that gives you a clean cut on both sides. Right, get yourself a little bit of sandpaper. I will sort of roll it up like that. And then Take off the rough, rough edges. The last thing you want is when someone puts his finger in the hole to open the cupboard door. Get them to get a splinter. Right, so what I'm gonna do now is take you into the van. We're gonna install this door on the cupboard. Right, so this is where I'm gonna put the door. Let me show you where it's going. And that's how it's gonna go on there. Right, for space at the bottom. I've left enough gap, funny enough to put a plate of one of these hinges on. So for the gap at the bottom, Let's put that there. Thank <laughs> you. 
can't even see the marks on that. So let's do it like this. Let's do one there. Put a couple of screws in. And make sure that door works. rest of the pilot holes. So now I need to install the magnet. <clears throat> hmm. So that piece of wood is not big enough. So I'm gonna put another piece of wood below it. I think, let's have a look and see where the hole is. Yeah, it's plenty of room. Right, the reason I've had to cut another piece of wood to go there is because originally the clips the door catcher was going to use and not as good as I thought they was and they would have fitted on this bit of wood so I'm going to screw that there or even I'll tell you it'd be better like that gives us plenty of room I now need to attach this to here. Right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna screw this slightly proud of that block of wood. And I'll show you why in a second. try to shut that door now that would sit slightly outwards which it has so by the time I put this plate on there I'll stick the plate on there I locate the plate to exactly where I want it now that's there now I'll shut it and it's even further proud right so now I've got to transfer that plate to that door get it in just the right place I have a little hack for you right you can try all the measurements in the world to get it in the right place but this is foolproof drop a paint paint the front bit like so and then push the door hard against the magnet. And when you pull it off, there you go. I know exactly where I need to screw that plate to. So I get my screw. On the end of that should hold and
be a lot easier if I just put a pilot hole in there. So struggling with it. Right, so if you remember, I put that slightly proud. So to line it up with the door, I'm going to do it. Now I push that back. So it's flush with that, because I know the door will shut flush with that because it's the same size wood as the frame. Tighten it back up. Right, one last thing I do, I undo these slightly. So if I give a little bit of movement, slightly loose when it catches onto the magnet it gives a better fit so there you go watch and that is how you fit a door onto your kitchen or bedroom or wherever you want to put it that is the simplest and easiest way to make a door for your camper van Right, something I am going to do on this, which I've done on one of my other doors, and I'll show you in a second, is I'm going to use a little catch only for when I'm driving, because these might pop open. So what I do is I paint up keys and slot them across. Let me show you what I've done on my LPG door so you can have a look for yourself. Right, so this is my LPG box, and I use these keys to keep it shut. And yes, it's sealed with rubber all the way around. So when I close it, and I'm going to put them on all the doors inside. So when we're in um, transit anywhere, I'll lock everything down with those. That'll be including these doors, the drawers, doors up there. So yeah. So that's just one of the ways of how I make doors for camper vans. I hope you found this slightly useful informative interesting please leave your comments below let me know what you think and let me know if you'd have done it a different way uh, i will leave uh, links to the craig jigs in the description below so if you fancy one of them click on the link it'll take you straight to where you can find them yes i do get a few pennies if somebody buys through my link because it's like an affiliate link i think i've just set that up um I don't I say I'm not doing this for the money because anything that I make through Amazon or getting a voucher I will buy stuff on Amazon to put in vans and it will be featured on this channel so it's I just put it all back in it's not something I'm making for myself it's stuff I'm making for the vans and putting it out to you hopefully so you make stuff for the stuff that I buy anyway I hope you're having a nice day because the weather's absolutely gorgeous at the moment. Hope you're staying safe, hope you're staying well in these crazy times. And most of all, everybody, stay damn happy. Bye for now.